I'm Koki. I'm in 12th grade. The school trip is coming up soon, and we didn't have to wear uniforms during the trip. But that meant I had to get nice clothes, which I didn't have. Personally, I wish we could just wear our uniforms. I had no choice but to go shopping for new clothes. Crap! I thought I'd be able to find clothes at the mall, but there's just too many stores here. Which one am I supposed to go into? Hello, sir. Can I help you with something? Uh, just let me look at peace. I wish they would leave me alone. Uh, I can't even decide which store to go into. It's been 30 minutes already. Come on, just get this over with. Ah, uh, this place looks good. It's only those two, and I'm the only customer in here. Finally, I found a store. I started looking, but... My mom always bought my clothes for me. I had no interest in fashion, so I had no idea what I was doing. I guess black pants will go well with anything. This sweatshirt looks good. Whatever, I'll just try it on. Uh, you wanna try those on? You gotta ask the store staff if you wanna try something on. Don't you know that? I'm sorry. I'm so embarrassed. <sighs> I'm so embarrassed. Oh, boy. Some people just look lame no matter what they wear, you know? True that. Fashion isn't for everyone, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, that's why models are so special. They're laughing at me. I just want to go home. Then, the person in the next booth opened up the curtain. That's enough. I heard everything. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. We weren't talking about you. Yeah. Hey, are you naked? Uh-huh. Uh, no. All right, I'm coming in. Wow! I see. What a day. The store staff are laughing at me, and now this. He's probably going to make fun of me, too. I'm guessing you wandered in here not knowing what to get. But you tried anyways only to have these people laugh at you. It must have been hard. If you want, I can give you some advice. What? Really? Of course. Fashion isn't for everyone. That's not true at all. I'll help you find some nice clothes. Ah, uh, thanks. Thank you. I decided to let the good looking guy help me out. First, what kind of impression do you want to make? Uh-huh. Um, Stylish? Be more specific. We all have different ideas about stylish. Um, well, I heard about something called professional style diagnosis the other day. I guess I'm just looking for something that'll fit my body. Yeah, I heard about that. But what fits your body might not be your taste, right? Those tastes can help you find normal clothes, but fashion is about wearing what you want, right? But what if I don't look good in them? That would just suck. That means you gotta keep looking to find the ideal outfit. By the way, those clothes that you're wearing now, you like them? Uh-huh. Uh, no, not at all. Here's a tip. First, stick to the same theme all around. The same theme? For instance, those pants look pretty tough and masculine, right? Yeah, sometimes it's good to mix it up, but for starters, you should always stick to one theme. Which brings up the question, what kind of theme are you looking for? What kind of guy do you want to be? Uh, mature, calm, but not too uptight? I see, so mature but relaxed. You're in high school, right? Maybe we should take that into account too. I have no idea what he's talking about. What's the occasion? Uh, a class trip. Okay, so we gotta think about mobility too. Black jeans, white shirt, and a light beige cardigan. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty simple, but this is the perfect look. A lot of people think fashion is about standing out. Sometimes it is, but for starters, 
Try wearing simple things. Keep it simple and stick to a theme. Thank you. Uh, who are you anyways? I used to be a fashion model. Today, I own a fashion brand. A model? That's why he's so stylish. And as for you guys, you can't even help your customer find nice clothes. What does that say about your taste in fashion? Damn, if I was a girl, I'd be all over him. The store staff was terrible, but I'm so glad I ran into him. I bought the clothes he picked out for me and left the store on the day of the class trip. Did you see Koki's outfit? Oh, he's so handsome. <laughs> I think I like him. I know, right? It's simple, but elegant. He looks so mature. Look at the other boys. I mean, who wears t-shirts with cartoon characters on them in a high school? Yeah, and skulls and crosses. Ugh, grow up. We all want to look good, and we all have different tastes. That's all fine, but for me, I guess I just want clothes that'll help me get girls. After all, isn't that why most people try to dress nice? I'm Tsukasa Yokoyama. I work in an event management company. We do everything for our clients from start to finish, so good communication between employees is crucial to our success. But the other day, we got this new member on our team, and things have gotten kind of awkward. Akane, you forgot to call them? Oh, uh, I was gonna call them at noon. What? Why not do it now? What if you forget? Uh, I won't. How can you be so sure, huh? You're not in school anymore. Call them right away. Do your job. Okay. Hey, come on now. It's not like she forgot. Go easy on her. What? I hate people who procrastinate. She's putting us all at risk. I don't think she understands how important this is. Uh, Rumi-san looks pissed. I'm sorry. I don't know what I did wrong. Hey now. Don't take it so hard, okay? I know you've been working hard. Ever since Akane joined our team, Rumi-san has been on edge. She was never like this before. That night, I went to dinner with a colleague. Man, did you see Rumi and Akane go at it today? That was insane! Ah, uh, but it's mostly Rumi-san. Akane isn't doing anything wrong, to be honest. Maybe. But no matter what she says to her, she just goes back to work as if nothing happened. I'm sure that annoys the hell out of Rumi-san. This isn't funny. I'm the one that has to intervene and defend her. Well, maybe that's another reason Rumi-san is always so angry. Until she came along, Rumi-san was the youngest and prettiest one there. But with Akane... So you're saying Akane is the prettiest one now? It doesn't matter what we think. I'm saying that's what she thinks. I think she just wants to get rid of Akane. This doesn't sound good. Why are women like this? Who knows, man? <laughs> Being competitive isn't a bad thing, but not when it's like this. I gotta do something before something goes terribly wrong. And Rumi-san didn't stop. She just kept coming after Akane-san. But Akane-san didn't seem to mind. And seeing her like this only made Rumi-san angrier. And it was starting to negatively affect her performance. Rumi-san, can I get that document on the Sekifushi Park event? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm almost done. I'll send it to you as soon as I'm done. You're not done yet. You said you'd have it by yesterday. You've been slipping. Uh, sorry. I I've just been feeling under the weather. Really? You looked fine when you were yelling at Akane-san. Then, one day, I got to work early. Rumi-san was there too. She was walking around Akane-san's desk. What is she doing? I better hide. Did she just put something on her desk? I couldn't really see what it was. Then, she went into the coffee room. I slowly walked over to my desk and sat down. Ah, uh, good morning! You're early! Uh, want some coffee? Ah, uh, it's okay. Thanks. You're pretty early, too. Ha <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of work to do, so... Then, that morning, something happened. Hey, Rumi-san! I just got a call from our client. They said that the package hasn't arrived yet. The event is tomorrow. You're the one that sent the purchase order, right? Huh? No, I asked Akane-san to do that for me. I gave you the documents a few days ago. Uh, wait! No, you didn't! What? You don't even remember? Check your desk! 
What? what? <laughs> What's this? The event is tomorrow. What are you gonna do about it? What did I... <laughs> it's your fault. Just quit already! What's going on? Akari-san forgot to send a purchase order, but the event is tomorrow. We gotta hurry. <laughs> huh? I thought Rumi-san was in charge of that. I asked Akane-san to do it. Wait, is that...? You put that on her desk this morning. I saw you. I saw her do it. She had the documents this morning. What? So you were trying to frame Akane-san? Huh? I... Uh, uh... I don't even know where to start, but for now, we gotta focus on the event. After that, Akane-san made some calls and got things back on track. It's hard to believe that she just started here a few months ago. Then, Akane-san took Rumi-san to the CEO's office. Rumi-san, we've been conducting an internal investigation. We know you've been embezzling money by forging documents. That's what they sent me here for, but I guess that wasn't the only problem. You got anything to say? Then, Rumi-san got fired. The company filed a lawsuit against her after that. I had no idea. I thought you were just a new girl. Sorry about that, but you always stood up for me. Thank you for that. So, you're gonna go back to your real job after this? <laughs> Why do you look so sad? If you want to ask me out on a date, all you gotta do is ask. Peace returned to the workplace. Oh, and I also got a girlfriend. Yes, glad everything worked out. I'm Riku Takamura. Today, one of my juniors at work made a mistake. I was on my way to apologize to the clients. I'm truly sorry, sir. I was in a rush and I wasn't looking. If you're gonna apologize, pay me! You're the one that ran into me! Look at all the damage you cause! Plus, the time I wasted because of you! Come on! Five hundred dollars! What? I don't have that kind of cash on me. Fine! Give me that box of snacks then! Uh, no! This is for one of my clients and... Uh, I should have been more careful, but he's not injured or anything. Plus, I'm apologizing, so why won't he let me go? I was in a rush to go see my client. That's when I ran into this guy. Apologized right away, but he wouldn't let me go. What? Uh, I don't have time for this. Oh, man. Do I really have to pay him $500? Hey, that's enough. He apologized, right? Oh, stay out of this, kid! But you ran into me earlier, so does that mean you'll pay me $500 too? And you ran into other people too. Should I go get them? You have to pay them all $500, so... What? Shut up! Get out of my face! You ran into me too! Hang up! $500! But he didn't even apologize! Make it a thousand! Ah! Uh, shut the hell up! Are you guys insane or something? Look who's talking! Yeah! Thank you. No problem. Um, thank you so much. I'd like to thank you, but I have to be somewhere right now. So, may I have your number? Huh? It's cool. You should get back to work. Okay then, here. This is my card. Call me or text me. Promise me. I was in a rush, so I gave her my card and left. I barely made it on time. I ran the entire way, so I was out of breath and my eyes were bloodshot. <gasps> I'm terribly sorry, sir! I guess they weren't expecting that either. But thankfully, it worked out for the better because they ended up forgiving me and my company for our mistake. That night, she hasn't called. I guess it was a bit weird giving her my card like that. I really just wanted to thank her. Will I ever see her again? An unknown number. Could it be? Hello, it's me from earlier. Did everything work out okay with work? I just called to see if you were okay. That's all. Thank you. You're very kind. No, it's not like that. Her name was Maki Katsuda. She looked pretty flashy when I saw her, but she was a really kind person. She said she didn't do anything special and that I didn't have to thank her. But when I offered to take her out to get some Korean barbecue, she said yes. Can't say no to Korean barbecue. Fine. I guess she likes me. A few days later, we met up in the city. She was wearing her high school uniform. <laughs> what? You're still in high school? Taking a high school girl out to Korean barbecue. Is this really okay? Will I get in trouble? Sorry, I had to go to school today. Didn't have time to change. If anyone asks, 
Just say you're a relative or something. Actually, I don't have any relatives, but... <laughs> huh? What did she mean by that? I wanted to learn more about her. What do you mean, no relatives? You're not from around here? Nope. I have no relatives. Literally. Plus, I got no parents, so... I'm pretty lonely. Really? Yeah! So when you said Korean barbecue, I was like, yes! Thanks for this! Really! Do you get lonely? Yeah, sometimes. I don't have anyone, you know? But there's a trick, you see? Whenever I feel lonely or sad, I just help others or be nice to them. Then when they tell me thank you, I feel so much better. It makes me feel valuable and needed, you know? Oh! What the? You okay? You're just such a kind girl. <laughs> Life's not fair. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, don't worry. Seriously, I'm making the best of it. Don't worry. Sinasan, oh, I'm so moved. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything? What? Are you saying you want to start a family with me? If you want. Huh? Uh, no. I mean, not right away, but... Maybe after you graduate? Wait, seriously? You'll marry me? Honestly, it would be my pleasure. Wow, slow down there. First you gotta date someone, then you get married. Uh, right, boyfriend and girlfriend, I see. Yeah, duh. All right, let's start there then. Wait, so is that a yes? She's my girlfriend now? Uh-oh, wait, did I just... Are we going out now? I feel like I knew her my entire life for some reason. We started dating officially after she graduated high school. We started living together. She was still young, but she was really kind. I really enjoyed being with her. And when she turns 20, I'm gonna ask her to marry me. And I'll start a new family with her. I can't wait! I'm home! Hey! I'm Riku. I'm a freshman in college. But... Uh, I haven't made a single friend yet. Anyways, I have a little sister in high school, but recently, she's been coming home late. Miki, she's so late these days. Did she get a part-time job or something? No, I don't think so. She says she's just hanging out with friends. Friends? I wish I had friends to hang out with at night. I'm not jealous or anything. But she dyed her hair the other day and she's been acting all strange. She wasn't like this in junior high. I guess that's high school for you. Maybe she gets lonely because I work the night shifts. We didn't have a dad. Mom was a nurse and she often worked at night. So Miki and I usually stayed home at night. I didn't want to worry mom and I'm sure Miki felt the same way too. She's just being a teenager. It happens. I guess so. Maybe I should have a talk with her. Well, she's just worried about her. I don't blame her. But blonde? Who dyes their hair blonde? I hope she's not hanging out with the wrong crowd. I'm sure it's nothing to be worried about, though. But I was wrong. One day, I saw her hanging out with a bunch of delinquents in town. Is that Miki? So those are her friends? Look at them. They can't be up to any good. But why, Miki? You're such a good girl. Did something happen at school? Are you stressed out? As soon as Miki came home, she came stomping towards me and towered over me and stood there glaring at me in silence. You were spying on me today. What the hell? Don't do that anymore, you creep. I don't want them finding out about you. Sorry. Don't do it again. Uh, hey, something happened at school? Huh? What? You worried about me or something? No, it's just that, just wondering how you met those people, you know? None of your business. Then, she left. She didn't come home for days. Hey, do you think Miki will come home tonight? Hmm, not sure. She did text me saying she was staying the night at her friend's house, but that's all she says. Maybe she got tired of this place. It's my fault. I felt responsible for this. But still, a high school student not coming home for days? I had to do something. I had to talk to her. I did some research online. Then I found out that they were having a meeting tonight. This is the place. I'm the only guy here? Where's Miki? 
You, what the hell are you doing here? Huh? Oh, um, I'm looking for Miki. She's a high school student. Miki? Who the hell are you? I'm her older brother. Huh. Miki, your brother's here. What? Uh, what the hell are you doing here? There, there. He came all this way, right? At least hear him out. Boss. Boss? Fine. What is it? This better be good. Um, I'm just, uh, well, if you're hanging out with friends, I guess it's fine. But will you at least come home at night? Preferably by eight? We're worried about you. Your family. Oh, get lost! You're so annoying! I texted Mom already! I don't care if I'm annoying. But if something happens to you, I won't be able to forgive myself. Call me names. I don't care. As long as you're safe. Shut up! Come on, Miki. Listen to him. He came all this way just for you. He's got a point. Oh, he's such a nerd, though. I hate being seen with him. But he really cares about you, that's for sure. Listen, Miki. It never hurts to have a place you can call home. If school is tough, you can always hang with us. But if you have a loving family, you should spend time with them, too. Having multiple places you can call home is really nice. She sounds like a pretty decent person. All right, then. We'll make sure she's home by eight, all right? Ah, uh, thank you. Um, thank you all for being her friend. You too. Uh, boss, right? These girls are really lucky to have you. Uh, shut up already! You're grossing everyone out! Ever since that day, Miki came home by eight. We ate our dinner together and talked about our day. At first, she didn't tell me a lot. But soon, she started telling me more about her friends. Then one day, she brought over the boss. Yo, Riku! Can she eat with us? Hey! He's a pretty good cook, actually. Damn, impressive. Miki, you should have called ahead. I would have made more if I knew. All right, then. I'll come again tomorrow. Hear that? Make something special for her tomorrow. What? What are you? Ah, you're so dumb! She likes you! You should be honored! What? Uh, Miki, I told you not to tell him. Oops, sorry. Uh, um, well, if you want to come over, sure. I'd be delighted. Come over anytime you want. Thanks to Miki, I met someone. Having a teenage sister isn't all that bad, I guess. My name is Riku Miyane. I work for a software company. Today was our company vacation. During the day, we went to the ocean. Oh, it was so relaxing. And dinner was just delicious. Things were going great. But now, I was in trouble. Mm -hmm. Um, Seda-san? Hey, Miyane. What's going on? I like you. I like you. I like you so much. I love you. I've always liked you. I've always loved you forever. It all happened after the dinner party. We all went back to our rooms after eating. I was about to fall asleep too, but I got their seat, so I went out to the vending machines to buy a bottle of water. Then this happened. No. This is Arisa Sarah. She's quite cute, I know, but the thing is, she's my boss. She's always yelling at me, so I thought she'd confuse me with someone else. Ugh, Mina, you're so slow at everything. You gotta plan ahead and be more thorough. Oh, look at your tie. Go fix it! I'm sorry. Don't worry, though. I won't say anything until you say yes. So, come on, say yes. Um, Sarah-san? Things are moving way too fast for me. I think you're drunk. Uh, did you say let's jump into bed together? I never said that! Stop it, please! You're drunk. Go sleep it off. Ian, I love you so much. I want to make love right now. I'm fine. No worries. I won't do anything until you say yes. Seda-san, please, seriously, let's get you back to your room. It hurts to look at her. 
She's so pretty. Does she realize that? And she's wasted. She won't remember a thing tomorrow. I never looked at her that way, but now I had no choice. I mean, look at her. And I never received training to fight such temptations. And I wasn't a monk either. If this wasn't the company trip, maybe I would have went for it. But she was my boss. No way, no way. If something happens, I might get fired. I'll get crucified. Come on, Seta-san. Go back to your room. I'm going to. Uh, hey, wait. Wait a minute. Maybe she's one of those types who says these kinds of things when she gets drunk. So if I just leave her here, maybe some other guy might come and take advantage of her. Seta-san, I'll walk you to your room. Uh, oh, so we'll do it at my room? No! I'll take you back to your room, and once you go inside and lock the door, I'm going back to my room. She's my boss. I don't want some other guy to take advantage of her. She's so vulnerable right now, and who wouldn't want her? I'd get in trouble if I just left her here. She teased me the entire way, but somehow we made it to her room. After I took her back and locked the door, I went back to my room. Ugh, this whole thing killed my buzz. I'm sobered up, but I gotta wake up early tomorrow, so... I had trouble falling asleep at first, but I fell asleep around midnight. I must have been tired with everything that happened. And even though I told her to lock her door, I forgot to lock mine. I realized it in my sleep, but I didn't worry too much. I didn't bother to wake up, but then... What the?! Seta-san, wake up! Why are you here?! Uh-huh. This is my room! Hello? You remember how you got here? Uh, me and A? Hey, I never touched you, okay? All I did was wake you up! Don't... Don't worry, I remember everything. Oh, I got wasted and told you I liked you. I also said I wanted to kiss you and make love to you. Then you took me back to my room, but I snuck into your room again. And... She remembers everything! Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and tell on me. Tell everyone on your socials. Oh, I don't care anymore. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, uh you forgive me? Well, you didn't actually do anything, so... Thank you, Mianne. But, can I ask you something? You really like me? Uh, yeah. For real? I don't lie about stuff like that. Seta-san, you're so cute. I had no idea. I get it now. You're one of those people who can't be nice to someone you have a crush on, right? Just like in elementary school. What? Stop teasing me, I'm not a kid. Right, right. I can tell from the way you were acting last night. Uh, shut up! You're immature too, me and A. What? No, I'm not. Want me to show you? Stop it! Oh, it's too early for this. So, it's okay if I try this again at night? I've always been scared of her. But she got drunk and showed her true self to me by accident. I had no idea about that side of her. But that really got to me. Mianne, finish that up in 15 minutes. Meeting in 15 minutes! What? 15 minutes? Why are you still talking? Damn, she's so scary. She can be pretty tough at times. I'd never want to marry someone like that. I guess, but she's all right once you get to know her. <laughs> and at home, she's all over me. She's actually pretty adorable. Uh, I'm so tired. My name is Kaito. I'm just a plain boy. I'm not very outgoing or handsome. It was even more obvious because I was always with Daisuke. Yeah, so another girl asked me out today. <laughs> oh, cool. Daisuke is a longtime childhood friend. As you can tell, he's very handsome and outgoing. I don't think we would have ever crossed paths if we didn't know each other since we were little kids. Daisuke has so many friends. I don't see any reason why he has to hang out with me. Well, I guess I serve as a foil to him. 
It was kind of an unfortunate but inescapable relationship that had started back in preschool. I didn't have any close friends beside Daisuke, so it was complicated. I had mixed feelings of gratitude and insecurity. He was just like the sun, and I was the moon. But even I finally got my chance to get a girlfriend. Hey, Kaito. I'm thinking about looking for a part-time job. Wanna work together? Oh, sorry. I already started working. Oh, you did? Did someone introduce you to the job? Yeah, my girlfriend. Huh? Did you say girlfriend? What the hell, man? You never told me you had a girlfriend. Oh, uh, yeah. Do I really have to tell you everything? So, when did you ask her out? Oh, no. She asked me out. What? She asked you out? She must have had an interesting taste in men. <laughs> Introduce me sometime, alright? No, man. And I think I'll be spending more time with her, so... You know. Sorry. Hey, sorry for making you wait, Hikaru. Oh, don't worry about it. Did something happen? Yeah, my childhood friend held me up. Oh, Daisuke, right? Oh, you know him? Yeah. Well, you would, wouldn't you? He's so handsome and popular with the ladies. Hey, don't be jealous. I only know of him because I've been watching you for so long. He's always with you. Oh, that's why. Yeah, in my eyes, you're so much more handsome than he is, Kaito. Be more confident. Thanks. This is my girlfriend, Hikaru. She's in the same faculty as me and is very nice. She really takes great care of me. According to her, she has some unstable tendencies. She mentioned that she had failed relationships in the past because she wanted to stay in touch so often. But this was my first girlfriend, and I was so excited every time she messaged me, so it was no problem at all. In fact, I thought it was cute how much she wanted to text back and forth, and I wanted to take good care of her too. However, there was this guy that wasn't fond of our relationship. What's up? Do you mind? Huh? Oh, hey. Don't act disappointed to see me. Come on, Kaito. You don't mind either, right, Hikaru? Uh-huh. Oh, is that a handmade lunch by Hikaru? Man, it's mostly frozen ready-made items. Did you know that Kaito's mom is like a super housewife? Oh, she even bakes cookies at home. I don't think I've ever seen Kaito bring ready-made food for lunch. <laughs> hey, shut up! It's only the first few weeks that this kind of thing makes you happy, bro. Stay out of it. Just a warning from an old-time friend, but your girlfriend is a control freak. It's going to be annoying when you guys try to break up. You won't come out of it unhurt with a mentally unstable. Well, this is your first rendezvous, so what would you know, right? Hey, stop being an asshole! Whoa, strong words there. <laughs> you must really love her, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, Hikaru. No, I'm okay. That's what she said, but I could tell that she was upset. I could tell that those inconsiderate words from Daisuke hurt her feelings. I promised myself that I wouldn't let Daisuke get away with it next time. But he must have gotten the message because he stopped bothering us completely after that. However, I found out that he had been bugging her when she was alone. Hey, Kaito? Yeah? Daisuke, uh, he's been saying all kinds of things to me lately and it's bothering me. What? I didn't know! Yeah, he's been telling me all kinds of things about you that I'm sure you wouldn't want anyone to know about. What? I think he's against us going out. It seems like he's trying to make us break up. It doesn't matter what he thinks. I... I really like you, Hikaru. Kaito, I... I... Kara, I care a lot about you too. So, I thought that I had to get along with your old-time friend. Yeah, we go all the way back, but it's not like we're on good terms. It's just that I never really had a chance to break it off with him, but ever since I started dating you, I've been able to keep a good distance from him. I want to be by your side, Hikaru, not his. <laughs> okay then, I'm not going to hold back anymore. Huh? Hold back? One week passed since that conversation. I haven't seen Daisuke recently and haven't received any text messages from him either. I was glad that he had calmed down, but part of me was curious too. So I asked Hikaru about it. Has Daisuke been bothering you at all recently, Hikaru? No, I haven't even seen him around. Oh, you haven't either. It seems like he isn't coming to school recently. I wonder what happened to him. Oh, you haven't heard anything, Kaito? Huh? About what? I heard that Daisuke was dating three girls at the same time and they all found out and he's been getting it pretty bad from them. 
Really? Yeah, a girl from another college, a senior classman in his club, and a high school girl from around here. I didn't know at all. How do you know all of this? Well, they were all my friends. What? They were all people that I met online. We were all mentally unstable friends. And when I was talking with them individually, I found out that they were all dating Daisuke. But he was your friend, so I wasn't sure if I should tell them or not. But after I lost interest in protecting him, I leaked the info to them. So, basically, Daisuke has caught in the annoying situation that he warned me of himself. He warned me that I wouldn't come out of it unhurt. I wonder what his situation is. I was still a little concerned about Hikaru's degree of mental instability, but we barely get in fights anyways. According to her, I keep in touch all the time, and since I'm not the type to cheat on her, she's able to maintain her mental stability. I still date Hikaru. It seems like Daisuke got it so bad from those girls after that, and he ended up quitting college, and I heard he locked himself in his house. He hasn't contacted me since, so I have no clue what happened after that. I'm Tsukasa Yukawa. I'm currently in college, studying psychology. I have a friend that I've known since preschool, and today, he contacted me out of nowhere. Hey! How have you been? Sorry to bother you. It's cool. What's up? Recently, my sister Henri has stopped going to college and has been shutting herself in. What, really? Didn't she just start going to college? Yeah, she went for a month, but stopped after that. She needs to start going again or else she won't be able to graduate. I see. Do you know why? She won't tell us anything. My parents are worried too. Which is why I want to ask if you can talk to her. What? Me? Even though Henri is one year younger than us, she sees you as a childhood friend too. Yeah, but would she tell me something that she doesn't even tell her own family? I'm sure she will. She's always been open to you and you're a good listener. Okay, I'll go over next Saturday. Henri was always a nice girl. She was shy, but always tried her best to talk to other people. If there's anything I can do, I want to help her out. That Saturday, I went to Yuto's house. Henri, Tsukasa came to visit. I brought a little something for you. Can I come in? Sure, uh, but I don't want Yuto to come in. What? You finally show your face and this is how you treat me? Hey, hey, I'll just have a little talk with Henri. Tsukasa-kun. You came here because you heard I stopped going to college, right? I guess you know why I'm here. But you let me in, so does that mean you're willing to talk to me about it? Yeah, I know you won't laugh at me. Henri seemed a little nervous as she started speaking to me. You know, I tend to get nervous when I talk to strangers, right? Yeah, but you've always tried your best. Yeah, I've been trying my best, and it was fine, but... After starting college, it wasn't the same. Everybody seems smarter, and the girls are all so pretty, and it's hard for me to talk to them. It's not fun because I can't even make friends. I'm just scared. I see. Uh, how about I go to campus with you? Let's go together and see how it goes. I understand you're worried, but if there's someone you know by your side, won't it be a little easier for you? Oh, you would do that? Of course I'd be happy to help. Isn't it frustrating that you can't go to college just because you can't make friends? On Monday, I went to school with Henri. You're okay on the bus? Yeah, I don't have to talk to anyone, so I'm okay. Your problem is that you get nervous when you talk to people, right? Yeah, I try to make eye contact when I talk, but I get scared when I look into their eyes. You don't have to make eye contact that much. You can look at their chin, or if it's a guy, you can look at the top of their tie. It will make it seem like you're making eye contact with them. I can look that low and they wouldn't notice? Yeah, it's actually better that way. It'll make the opponent feel uncomfortable if you stare at them too much anyways. And also, you don't have to hide the fact that you're not comfortable talking to people. You can just say, sorry, I tend to get nervous when I talk to people. If that's a problem for them, then you don't need to be around those kinds of people. But most people won't think badly about you because of that. Okay, now I feel like I'm ready to talk to somebody today. I'll be hanging around until your class ends, so if you need anything, just give me a call. Thank you. A and I'm sorry if I end up calling you right away. The fact that you were able to get yourself here is already good enough. So if that happens, don't worry about it. We can just grab something to eat and go home. I didn't hear from Henri until after her class ended. Tsukasa-kun, sorry to keep you waiting. 
What happened? Is everything okay? <laughs> Sukasa-kun, I made a friend for the first time in college. She said she would lend her notes to me for the days I missed. Really? That's great! Whoa! Anri-chan! It's all thanks to you, Sukasa. It's all because you came with me and gave me advice on how to keep myself from being nervous. And just knowing that I could go home with you right away if something happened made me feel so comfortable. It just used to make me so nervous because I didn't have a way out. No, this is all you, Henri. I want to thank you in some way. Is there anything I can do? If you're smiling, it's good enough for me. <laughs> you always say things like that. Then, to keep me smiling, can you come back once in a while and take me out? If someone I liked came to see me now and then, it would motivate me to do well in school. Someone you like? Me? I went with Henri to campus the following day, and she was able to finish class with a smile on her face. Henri seemed like she's okay now, so I ended up going back home earlier than I originally planned. Thanks! You're amazing! You're always Henri's savior. But you won't be coming back for a while now, right? No, actually, I have a date with Henri next Sunday, so... What? Oh, shoot! Three days later, this time, Henri called me to tell me that her brother shut himself in his room. I'll need him to get over this situation on his own. I'm a college student, and I study for classes as well as taking over my father's position. Because my father is the CEO of a large institution. What I really wanted to be was a writer, but since I was an only child, I forced myself to forget about that dream at an early stage. Kyo, Kiyoharu, let's get drinks today! Ooh, count me in! Sure, why not? Kiyoharu, drinks are on you, right? I mean, you're rich, so you got it, right? Oh, I forgot to bring money today, too. Sure, drinks are on me. Yay! Add a rich boy! By the way, Kiyoharu, my birthday is coming up, and I, uh, have something I want. Sure, you name it. I'll get it for you. Only for you, Aya. Yay! I want the Hermes Birkin bag. Okay. I had to spend a lot of money, but I was living a fairly happy life. I know taking over my father's position was inevitable, and I was already kind of used to the idea. But one day, my father's company went bankrupt. It became national news. My friends, who I frequently hung out with, stopped talking to me since then, and... Hey, Kiyoharu, I have something I should tell you. I want to break up with you. I don't think I can date someone whose future is ambiguous. I just don't want to end up being poor. A lot of things went through my mind, but I could only nod. Okay. So, it wasn't me after all. It was the money she was after. I mean, I should have known that somewhere in my head. I didn't have any money, but I didn't need to study to take over my father's position either. Honestly, maybe this was better for me. So, I decided to pursue my long-forgotten dream as a writer. I had nothing to lose, so I thought I should do whatever pleases me. I started writing a novel, while also doing a part-time job. At first, it was very hectic, but I got used to time management. And what's more, I was really happy to write. It took me a while to get used to saving money, because I didn't have to think about finances a little while ago. But all in all, I was enjoying my new life. Hmm, what should I do today? It'd be better to use something from the fridge than to get something. Ah, the meat's on sale. No, I'm sorry too. Not too dressed up nor underdressed. She was beautiful. I instantly knew that she was the one. Maybe she lives in the neighborhood. We started to kind of randomly run into each other at supermarkets, shopping districts, and other places. As we started to talk, we got closer and closer. Uh, I still haven't gotten your name. Right, um, it's Shiori. It suits you, Shiori. I'm Kiyoharu, by the way. <laughs> Your name has a nice ring to it. We exchanged our numbers, and we started to get to know each other better. Sometimes, we even went to grab some food together. And when I told her that I was trying to become a writer, she looked at me with enthusiasm and told me she would root for me. I love books. <gasps> a 
Imagine if your book was being sold at a bookstore. That would be really amazing. Yeah, I guess. I pursued to become a writer, and a big part of my motivation came from her support. Finally, one day, after two years, I received an award, and I could finally call myself an official writer. Congratulations, Mr. Kiyoharu. Thank you. Mr. Kiyoharu, may I ask you some questions about your book? Yes, of course. Hey, what's up, Kiyoharu? <gasps> it's really you, Kiyoharu. Congratulations! You could have called us. We had no idea. What are you guys doing here? Well, we heard you received an award, so we couldn't miss it, you know? After all, friends ought to be there for each other. Obviously, as your girlfriend, you know, I thought I should be there for you. Tell me you're kidding. You broke up with me. And to start with, I didn't invite the both of you. What's up with you, man? We're still friends, right? Of course, we can grab some drinks, right? You should tell everyone that we're engaged. You guys should leave right now. Get out. What? Uh, hold on. I, uh, I'm your girlfriend, Kiyaharu. We're getting married, right? What are you talking about? You're the one who dumped me right after my father's company went bankrupt. Well, uh, let's forget about that. A fresh start? I'm sorry, but I already have someone else. And also, I really don't like gold diggers like you. Kiyaharu? Oh, hey, Shiori. Come here. Uh, who are they? They're my college classmates. The ones who fully abandoned me right after I lost all my money. We're engaged. As I told you, I really don't care about people like you guys. I don't think of you as friends. And like I said, I need you guys to get out. Mr. Kiyoharu, I called security. Thank you. Come here. Stop it! Get your hands off me! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Don't worry about me. By the way, isn't it almost time for your speech? You're right. I'll be right back. So, this is how I finally became a writer, and how I found the person I truly love. A woman who loved me, not for my money, but for who I am as a person. I am where I want to be. My name is Hiroki Joshima. I barely have any savings, I'm single, and I have nothing I can brag about. I haven't even been in a relationship for five years. I'm just a boring and single 37-year-old businessman. Mr. Joshima, want to go to the nightclubs? Oh, sorry. I don't like those places. Ah, uh, come on. It's called hanging out with co-workers. You should be enjoying your life as a single man more, you know? Yeah, you don't gamble, smoke, or drink. And you don't even go out to pick up girls. You're pretty much like a monk. But you're still in your 30s, right? Well, I guess when you live for close to 40 years, you don't function the same anymore, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Maybe he just has other things that he would rather spend his money on. I've already given up on life. I don't plan to live long, so I don't save money. I just keep what I need to get by, and a little extra for my insignificant hobbies, and I donate the rest. I had no motivation to do anything, so I figured that the money was better spent by people who were trying to make a change in this world. But that was fine. This was enough to make me feel significant in this world. The next day... Jeez, I can't even sleep in on the weekends. I'm up so early. Whatever, I guess I'll go buy something to eat then. So, I decided to head to the convenience store before the sun was even up. But, some drunk girl approached me in the parking lot. Hey handsome, hear me out. Huh? I just got dumped and I got nowhere to stay. Let me spend the night at your place. I'll, uh, return the favor. Uh, it's morning already? Is it her bedtime right now? Come on, no, I'll do anything, please. Fine, you can stay, but let me go shopping first. Yay! You're so sweet. I've got a nice surprise for you. Oh boy. I finished shopping at the convenience store and brought her home with me. Hey, don't just jump on my bed like that. Yay, fluffy pillows! Oh, I'll repay you after, so let me just get some sleep. Oh, she passed out in a heartbeat. Those flashy nails. Maybe she's a night worker. I better wash my sheets when she wakes up. I bet they're gonna reek of alcohol. 
She's so young though. I bet she drinks more than she can handle and talks to men all night. It must be hard. She slept all the way until the evening. <laughs> what time is it? It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Do you have anywhere you need to be? Oh, I slept that much? Uh, well, it's my day off, so that's not a problem. But you could have woken me up earlier. Why would I do that? Oh, because you were waiting this entire time to sleep with me, right? You were buying things at the convenience store, weren't you? I just bought breakfast. Uh, huh? So you really just let me stay? No dirty feelings? Why are you so surprised? Just so you know, a dude who tries to take advantage of a drunk girl is pretty messed up. Anyways, are you hungry? There's something I want you to help me with after you eat. Huh. Uh, okay. I fed her lightly and drove her to a shopping mall nearby. What are we doing here? Why do you seem nervous? You said you'd do anything. Are you freaking out? No, but um, I I'm still wearing my clothes from work and I haven't even showered. And now we're here at a shopping mall filled with families. Yeah, sorry about that. But even if you did shower, you don't have a change of clothes, right? Don't you have something that your girlfriend or ex-girlfriend left behind? Okay then. Hey, wait! Children's clothes? Do you have kids? I'm choosing something for my older sister's kids. She has twins, a boy and a girl. Oh, uh, okay. Huh? Why did I feel awkward for a second there? I'm attending their birthday party in a few days, and I thought I'd buy them some clothes. But the adults around me give me weird looks when I'm walking around in these areas. But you're here today, so I can avoid that. Oh, that's pretty annoying. Not really. I fully understand that the parents are just trying to protect their children. This guy, he seems kind of emotionless, but he has such a clear mind. Okay, let's go choose some clothes for you next. Huh? Why? You have nowhere to go, right? That means you're coming back with me, right? Which means you need a change of clothes, right? Uh, my name is Minori. What's your name? Hiroki Joshima. How old are you, Mr. Joshima? 37. What? You're surprised that I'm so old, aren't you? Are you a night worker, Minori? Uh, yeah. That's impressive. It must be a hard job, right? Mr. Chiyoshima, you're an interesting person. You bring drunk girls home with you and you don't lay a finger on them. And all you asked me in return was to go shopping for kids' clothes with you. And you don't look down on night workers. I, um, I've never felt this way towards anyone before, but I like you. Oh, I'm so in love with you right now, Mr. Chiyoshima. You must have really been mentally worn out. Life became so much more fun since I met Minori. I didn't realize how much fun it was to have someone to talk to at home. Maybe I just didn't know anything about how to enjoy life. Two years later. See you guys. See you tomorrow, sir. See you, boss. Mr. Joshima has been clocking out on time recently, hasn't he? Well, I would too if I was in my late 30s and just got married to a young and cute girl. You know he only got her because he's such a gentleman, right? <laughs> Are you trying to say I'm not a gentleman? Oh, hi, honey! Hey, I'm back. I'll help with dinner. No, don't worry about it. Go take a nice long bath. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm about to be a mom soon, so let me get some practice. Okay, then. We'll be a family of three next spring, so currently I'm saving up as much money as possible. From now on... I'll have two more people besides myself that I'll have to protect. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us, and I hope to spend as much time as possible with my family. My life has just begun. My name is Koki. I'm 21. I came to Tokyo to go to college, and I'm living with my 26-year-old sister, Erica, who works as an office worker. The sister of mine has an unusual and troubling habit. I'm home. Hey, check it out. I picked up this cat in front of our house. Go put it back. What? Why? Because pets aren't allowed in this apartment, duh. Yeah, but if we leave her there, she's going to starve. Let's find her a new home. We always do. Yeah, only because you bring them home without thinking twice. 
It's always me who has to find them a home before we get in trouble, you know? It's always so stressful. I'm sorry. We can't be your parents, but I promise to find you a loving home, okay? Hey, are you listening to me? I'm always in charge of dealing with all the things that my sister brings back home with her. Hamsters, dying plants, mysterious old objects, everything. She always brings things home saying that she found them in front of the house. And I'm the one who has to find new homes, take care of them, and bring them to the pawn shops. It's like a full-time job. Man, if I wasn't here, Erica's house would be filled with unnecessary things. I bet Mom made me live with her, not because she's worried about me, but because she's worried about Erica. And one day, Erica picked up something ridiculous. Uh-huh. Is that your friend, Erica? No, I picked her up in front of the house. What? Hey, hey, hey! You can't just pick up people! Why not? She was sitting in front of the house. Whatever, just tell her to go home! No, I'm sure she has her reasons. I only pick up things that need help. Ugh, sorry, but I'll never understand your decision-making methods. You're a runaway, right? Mm-hmm. See? What the hell are we supposed to do with a runaway girl? Do I call the police? Do I ask where she's from and contact her parents? Well, it's dangerous outside and I feel bad, so let's keep her for a while. Let me just ask you this. You aren't underage, are you? My name is Rika. I'm 20 years old. Fine. If that's what you want, Erica, but you take care of her, all right? I'm staying out of this one. And this is how Erica decided to let a runaway girl stay at her house. She didn't even ask questions. All we know is her name, her age, and the fact that she's a runaway. We can't even confirm that at this point. Oh man, why is Erica such a pushover? What if this girl is in trouble? I'll have to call mom tomorrow and ask her what I should do. Jeez, why am I always the grown-up? Erica's supposed to be older than me. I fell asleep thinking about these things for a while, but I woke up in the middle of the night feeling heavy. <gasps> oh, you're awake? You could have just kept sleeping. <gasps> Wait, what the hell? Get off me! <laughs> Your sister, she's such a nice person, isn't she? I mean, she didn't care who I was and just let me in. Oh, crap! Is this what I think it is? What do you want? I want your sister. Erica? What do you want with her? I... I want... I just want to get to know her better. Huh? What do you mean, huh? You're her little brother and you don't see how amazing she is? Your sister is so nice, like Mother Teresa level. She's famous for picking up anything that's in front of her house. Yikes! Wait, do people drop things off here because they know the rumors? Is that why Erica is always bringing things home? That gentle smile, her soothing voice. I've liked your sister for a while now. Uh, if that's the case, shouldn't you be sneaking into my sister's room? Uh, you don't understand. I don't want a romantic relationship with your sister. I want to be her sister. You want to be her little sister? That sounds even more impossible than being her girlfriend. <laughs> you idiot. There's a simple way. All I have to do is get married to you, and I can become her sister-in-law. What? Who would marry a psychopath like you? <laughs> you say that now, but mark my words. Soon enough, you won't be able to live without me. Hey, what are you doing? You'll mm, feel so good after this. Just trust what your body tells you. You better not underestimate my technique. No! No! Morning. I was completely bewitched by this girl named Rika. Good morning. Sleep well? Yes, ma'am. What a wonderful morning. May I ask for your services tonight as well, please? Only if you explain to your sister that we're a couple now. Ugh. Do I really have to go that far? You just give God-level massages. Ooh. What are you talking about? Do you know how much a massage like that would cost you if you went to a massage therapist? I'm offering you a chance to get that for free every day. Are you complaining? Man, I thought she was just a runaway girl, but she wasn't. She was an incredible massage therapist. I've never felt so light in my life. My chronic shoulder pains were cured by this girl who's after my sister. So, was it a lie that you're a runaway girl? 
Yeah, that was just my excuse to be picked up. Oh, you came clean pretty fast. So, you want my sister, but is it fine with you to be dating me for that? Well, I want her to be my older sister. And plus, last night I saw your face when you were sleeping. Just thinking that I was staring at that girl's younger brother. He gave me the butterflies. So my sister is a vital part of the equation, huh? She's definitely consistent about that. Yeah, maybe she isn't a psychopath. More like an alien. Rika and I have decided to become a couple. What? Yeah, that would be the reaction that I would expect. I mean, she probably wouldn't imagine in a million years that a girl that she just picked up would start dating me overnight, right? What? Congratulations! That's exactly what I thought when I picked her up. I thought she would be perfect for you, Koki. <gasps> perfect? Oh, how embarrassing. I'm flattered. Okay, so it seems as though I'm the only Earthling in this house right now. I can trust her massages, that's for sure. So physically, I'll be much lighter. But this is going to be heavy living with these two. <laughs> Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.